Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing super well. If you are new here, my name is Cynthia and this channel is all about beauty, lifestyle, fashion. And today we're getting into some of my favorites um, that I purchased or that I at least tried in 2020. If you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and switch on your notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you some of my favorite purchases of 2020. And we're gonna first start off in the fashion category. And I really have one thing that I just really, in terms of clothes, that I just really want to just shout out because I keep talking about this here and there in some vlogs, but I really just wanna tell you, explain to you why I really, really love this item. So if you're a plus size, if you're a big girl like me, for a long time, there was a struggle, right? To get a pair of good jeans. And for a long time, I didn't wear denim at all because it's so uncomfortable. They were always low rise, just not be pleasant to wear at all. So I forego wearing denims. I forewent, is it forewent or forego? I forewent wearing denims for years. A lot, many, many years. And then I started to trickle back into that space when I started buying jeans from Fashion Nova, which I did once, by the way. I bought a pair of jeans, maybe once or twice, I don't know. They, but they didn't feel like jeans. They felt like jeggings. They didn't feel like proper denim leggings, a jegging jeans, except for one pair, which I still have. And then the next um, bunch I ordered, I ordered a pair of jeans from this guided via Superbalist. And those are really cool. I think you've seen me wear them quite a number of times on my Instagram and I've talked to them, I talked to you about them on here as well. But last year I thought I would try cotton on because Superbulous is a place where I tend to go a lot for my misguided um, pieces. Like I'll check there first before ordering from ASOS and stuff just in case they have brought some of the stuff down from the UK um, stores. I don't know who the buyer is for misguided plus in South Africa for Superbulous but your I don't even know why ah, the options are horrendous because, and I say that with the utmost respect, because when I see what's on the curve section on this on the misguided website, it's beautiful stuff. It's really nice stuff, but they don't bring that down. They bring down the most frumpy, bland clothes. I don't know what it is. Do people think plus size girls don't want to dress sexy? I don't understand what it is. It'll be a dime in a dozen. It's like picking a diamond from a lump of coal if you find something good in the plus section at Superbulous. In any case, I thought I would try cotton on jeans. I had been scrolling posing for the longest time. I don't know why I never bothered. So if you're already hopped on cotton on jeans, I'm happy for you. It's my bad because I'm late to the party and I only just discovered them like a year ago. So, I bought, I think I have about four pairs from, from Cotton On at the moment, but I'm not going to talk about my blue jeans today. And I just love a good pair of blue denim with a white shirt or a white t-shirt. I think it just is just so classic. And that's why I felt like I was just, I felt so left out of this group of people that could wear denim. It wasn't fair. It's denim, right? But it's got some elastic to it, which is very nice. So. It is comfortable to wear. It's not a jigging, it's a jean. The material isn't stiff and it's pliable to your body, right? So I have this pair that has these cutouts um, at the knees. This pair is a bit big. It is it's quite big for me actually. It's a size 22. And this is when I was still trying to understand cotton on jeans and cotton on sizes for me it's better to get a bigger size than a smaller size but i wear them as like a loose boyfriend sort of jean which is very cool and um they are like a wide leg is it wide leg or straight leg i don't know what you call it but i'll have the link down below and these are my favorite pair i wear them all the time i wear them around the house i wear them to i wear them out um, I've dressed them up with some strappy heels tied around the ankle to give it some sort of like silhouette or shape. Such good quality. It feels amazing. It just looks good, honestly. So I really like them. Another pair I have, which is a close contender for my most favorite, are these um, denims as well. These are just a skinny jean. Um, 
no fuss, no frills about it, no cutouts or anything. Just a, just a simple skinny jean. This I also ordered in the size 22. And these I think are also a bit run, a bit on the bigger side for me. When I wear them, when I've been wearing them throughout the day for like an hour, two hours, I tend to see that around like the crotch area, it tends to get a little bit baggy. But I still wear these religiously. What I like about them is that because they aren't super tight, I can tuck things inside here without feeling, without anything showing around the midriff area. It just feels like a very comfortable pair of jeans and I can go out with them, go to lunch with them, have a good meal and not feel like I have to unbutton anything, right? So this is my second pair that I really, really love of blue denim from Cotton On. And then the third pair, which is my latest purchase, which I actually got this year, so not 2020, are those same jeans, but with some rips basically here yeah. and I realized I don't really have just a simple jean or just like some simple ribs at the knee no I just showed you one that has ribs but you know what I'm saying just like distressed vibes right not a full cut out these are got a size smaller these are got a size 20 and I will say that they were I had to jump through hoops to get these on but they are very comfortable on they sit comfortably just because of the material and the stretch I went to lunch I didn't have to unbutton anything this is a, just a true, true skinny jean. So these are definitely um, one of my favorites. I've worn these twice now, I think. One, one outdoors and once around the house. This is the thing I look for. High-waisted, comfortable, slight given elasticity goes a long way, especially if you're gonna be wearing something for the whole day. Just pretty, like how it looks on my body as well. And I think they go up to a size 24 or 26, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna be trying more in the size 22, just to see, I mean in the size 20, just to see how I feel. So I think it's just a bit of trial and error, seeing which one works for you, your body shape, and which one you're obviously most comfortable wearing for the whole day. Another purchase I was very pleased with last year is um, a designer purchase, which are my Louis Vuitton sandals. I will do anything to avoid wearing heels, which is why I invest a lot of my money, invest isn't the right word, I spend a lot of my money in the flat section, okay? This was no different. I think you guys saw me unboxing these in a vlog, um, in, during Vlogmas this December. And these, I mean, I have been wearing these <laughs> non-stop, um, are so comfortable. There's some like cushioning. It feels like you're wearing a pair of sneakers, but it's in a, it's in a sandal form. There's some cushioning here that is just so soft. I try to stop myself from wearing these all the time. Like, I don't wanna wear them, I don't wanna be a house shoe. It's so close to being a house shoe for me that I wanna wear it 24 seven. Okay, another favorite purchase is what I'm wearing right now, which is these earrings from Louis Vuitton as well. I don't know if it's the, if, if it's just because it's LV, or if it's the hoop. I haven't worn hoop earrings in years, maybe since I was in university, first year, second year, party days. Um, but I am, I've actually been looking online at um, more earrings. Um, not anything designer, but just like a simple gold, Simple gold hoops, like the chunky hoops. Nothing bigger than this, nothing bigger than this. Just some nice huggies, some nice gold. I wanna invest in just gold earrings um, because I think um, for a long time I didn't wear earrings and now I'm wearing these. I absolutely think it's just so pretty, so feminine. So I definitely wanna go back to just wearing earrings on a daily basis or whenever I do go out and just having fun with those choices as well. So I think for me, it's in general rediscovering, you know, pretty, you know, statement earrings, let's say, and um, and trying to explore them more. But these I think are so stunning. The logo, everything, it's so classic. I know they are super trendy right now. A lot of people have them, a lot of people want them. So we'll see if they're still okay to wear in about a year or if the sight of them will make me want to vomit i don't know but for now i love them and i'm gonna keep wearing them last in the fashion or accessories categories is a pair of sunnies 
Now I bought these, oh, these are dirty so I wish I really could clean them for you but I got these uh, in December as well um, because I needed some new sunnies for summer. I've been wearing the same, I lost my Celine's, my Celine's have gone missing um, and I don't really wear my Gucci sunnies anymore, I don't really wear what other ones do I have? I have another pair of Dior shades that I don't really wear. And all of my sunnies tend to be quite dark, They're quite black or very dark brown. So I wanted something a bit lighter, something more nude. Um, I was inspired actually by Daisy's collection, which I really do want to get for sunnies. Um, but I went to the Sunglass Hut during December and they had a crazy promotion where Dior was 50% off. And that was like they had just arrived stock so i saw these and i was like oh yeah these are my favorite out of all of my sunglasses these are my favorite i've worn these so much if you follow me on instagram you've seen me wear these so many times uh, so actually the my whole outfit today my whole outfit is a 2020 favorite i've worn this throughout december and <laughs> january <laughs> it looks like um but I absolutely am obsessed with these sunglasses. I think they are just stunning. I don't know what the model number is or the serial number. I didn't see them online as sunglass hat either. Maybe they are there, but if anything, if they are on the normal Dior website, I will, I will send it because then there you will actually be able to see its actual, sh um, what it's actually called and then you can search it locally. These are stunning. I love the gold accents on the, um, these have a name, whatever, on the handles. And yeah, I really, really like these. They do need a clean because it's a mirror image. Sorry about that. Sure, sorry for showing you dirty glasses, but I really love these. So these are favorite purchase, uh, purchase of 2020. Let's get into beauty very quickly. So um, I don't really have beauty favorites in terms of makeup because I didn't really purchase makeup last year. I didn't play around with it too much. There weren't any new launches like that. And there wasn't much to go about. What I did play around with last year was skincare. And so, boy, do I have three things I really want to share with you. If something else comes up, I'll, I will get it. But these are, the, these are the top three that I just felt like, wow, you guys have to know about them. And you guys have to know what I've been using day in and day out on my skin. And basically, what I'm loving. So first up is this Sensei Essence, okay? This is so delicious. It's a dual phase elixir compromised of, okay, some Koshimaru, Koshimaru Silk Royal and a cocktail of plant-based oils. It nourishes and moisturizes to awaken skin's innate glow. Okay, I've been using this straight after cleansing. But they're saying you can add one or two drops into your Sensei moisturizer to enrich your skincare, apply on body and nails to enjoy an extra touch of silky radiance, um, apply after using Sensei lotion in the morning and or evening. Okay, I've been using this way differently. I've been using this before my serums actually because the way this feels directly on my skin, oh my god, it feels absolutely incredible i absolutely love the texture of this i just am obsessed with this i'll be repurchasing purchasing this this was a gift this was gifted to me by sensei but i'll definitely be repurchasing this i can't speak i'm too excited i'll definitely be repurchasing this it is absolutely amazing on the skin then i've also been loving this um skewen rose hip c plus antioxidant concentrate this you guys oh boy listen i love oils on my skin i love a glow i love radiance i love it all and i love the consistency of this one um it's for super dry skin it's a deep tissue blend rich in, anti in antioxidants and bioavailable vitamin c um, once again mix one or two drops to your moisturizer massage twice daily into newly healed tissue for aesthetic scar maintenance alternatively smooth directly onto clean skin i'm loving this so much and i use it on no makeup days i'm not going to use this and wear makeup how to the no it just feels too good the skin is glowing it's glistening it's shining and i just love that look for me um when i'm not wearing makeup as well or just every day 
so I've really been enjoying this. This is maybe a cheaper alternative if you maybe have to choose between the two. I would I would go this way if you are on a budget. I'm not too sure how much this is, but I know they are available at this game, so I'll leave the link down below. Hopefully they have it online already. And then my last favorite in beauty has to do with lips. And it's these lip glow oils from Dior. My goodness, you guys. I, okay, all of my beauty products are oil based. I'm realizing a pattern. I love oils. Okay, so um, these lip glow oils from Dior. So absolutely incredible to use. I like my lips feeling soft and smooth and not cracked or dry or peeling. So I actually first use my Dior lip scrub and then I go over it with this lip oil. And that's every day, with or without makeup. It's actually a great primer before you apply your matte lipstick or even any lipstick. And there have been times when I'm doing my makeup and I've put this on and then when I'm done with makeup, it actually looks good with this gloss on. So I keep it on and I don't change it. I don't put any lipstick on. Today I did use a lipstick though. And I really love the the doe foot it's so large and chunky and big and it just feels so good when you apply it so um yeah i think um that's it guys i've got nothing else to add um i think those are my favorite purchases of 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed that um these are really products that I really, really love and nobody paid me to talk about this. Nobody's paid me to tell you guys this. I really want to share with you the things that I genuinely love. Um, let me know as well in the comment section if there's anything that you have tried, that you are obsessed with and that um, you think we need, to, we need to know about. Okay? Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.